Somerset Police have released the audio of the moment that the mother of Joshua Dalbono rang the police to say that her son had committed murder. Police emergency, what's your location? Hi, I'm in the room. Okay, and um, what's happening? Uh, my son's killed someone. Okay, all right, okay. Can you tell me where? Um, it was at Radstock earlier. He's just come back. I've just found out he's in my house now, but I can't does, let him go anywhere. Does he know you're on the phone? Yeah, he's here. I've told okay. him I've got to do it. Joshua, 19 years old, was found guilty on the 11th of April at Bristol Crown Court for the murder of 16-year-old Charlie Bates in July last year. He was handed a life sentence to serve a minimum of 21 years. Charlie was fatally wounded by Dalbano just outside the city centre of Radstock on the 31st of July. The court was told that two cars arrived in the car park. One of them Joshua was in and this was at 20 to 7. Charlie is said to have approached the other car and a confrontation occurred that involved him and the people that were inside the vehicle. Dalbano saw what was happening and got out of his car, went up to the group and stabbed at Charlie multiple times. The incident lasted less than five minutes. The emergency services arrived but Charlie's life could not be saved. He was pronounced dead at 7.15. A pathologist said that Charlie sustained a stab wound to the chest and also a wound to the arm that was consistent with him trying to defend himself. Dalbano quickly left the scene after stabbing Charlie and travelled half an hour away to Shearwater Lake and burned his clothes that he was wearing. This was captured on mobile phone footage. Approximately six hours after Charlie was stabbed, police received a phone call from Joshua's mother saying that my son has killed somebody and she had kept him at the address. She told the call handler that she felt sick by what had happened, and she then passed the phone to Dalbano, who admitted to stabbing Charlie. He said that he was trying to protect other people, and Dalbano from Frome falsely said that he'd threw the knife away at the scene, but the police discovered that he'd threw it into Shearwater Lake later on. DCI Mark Ullman said in a statement that Charlie had his whole life ahead of him, and Joshua took it away. The vigil in Radstock after his death showed how much that he meant to the community, and he was a very popular person. And this story definitely shows the consequences of knife crime and how it affects every single area as well. There is no area that is immune to being involved in this sort of violence. And I've got some other news in relation to Somerset and also gang violence in this area. And we have to be very careful with this story because other people are still standing trial in relation to the incident that occurred that day. So I want to send my condolences to the family of Charlie and I really want to hear what people have to say. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.